All right, this will be a 365-day devotional. 365-day devotional. I have my partner with me, partner Mrs. Stormy. And Mrs. Stormy's brother, Mr. Ralph, will be uh, reading the devotional together. Mr. Ralph. Mr. Ralph. All right, let's see. This will be called, it will be titled, uh, Finding the Right Path. It is for April 17th. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. First Peter four eleven. All right. How can you know what you should do with your life? What is your destiny? First, answer this question. What is your ability? Think about it. What do you do well? What do people ask you to do again? What task comes easily? What topic keeps your attention? That's your ability. And ability reveals destiny. Hmm. Interesting. Your skill set, your ability, is your roadmap. It leads you to your destiny. Take note of your strengths. They are breadcrumbs that will lead you to where God wants you to be, to the job and to the ministry that he wants you to do. Remember, God loves you too much to give you a job and not the skills to do it. Identify yours. What you do for a living should conform to your design. Few situations are more miserable than a job misfit. Yet few maladies are more common. One study stated that only 13% of all workers find their work truly meaningful. No wonder commuters look so grumpy. Nearly 9 out of 10 of them don't want to go to work. Imagine the impact that unhappiness has on health, family, and performance. If a person spends 40 or more hours a week plodding through a job he or she does not like or care about, what happens? Find something you like to do and do it so well that people pay you to do it. That's not just good advice, it's godly design. Yeah, very good. Finding the right path, if anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies. Using your skill set, your ability, your superpowers, your strengths. God loves you too much to give you a job and not the skills to do it. Identify yours. Oh, man. Yeah, some people get into the wrong uh, career path because of the money. They have to weigh it out in their head. But I always go, you cannot serve God and money. Man, you have to choose one, and I choose God. If you choose God, he will bless you with peace and joy and give you abundance and riches like never before. And it may not be monetary. It's just going to be just that happiness. We look forward to going to work and serving people and doing whatever job you are. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, that is a 365-day devotional. I don't got much more to say. <sighs> it was a good day. It was a good day. It got over quick. I think I do more than I think than I think I do. So I get kind of exhausted. Today was a fun day. Kayaked on the lake today. Water levels up, so it was beautiful out there. It's hard to get out there though because the water level is still low. A lot of vegetation, but uh, I got to be out. I could be out among the people doing something physical. And, uh, yeah. I think I found my abilities. It's hard to hone in exactly where it is, but uh, right now I'm where I'm supposed to be. I've been following the breadcrumbs, even though I'm usually gluten free. <laughs> so, it's been cool. It's been cool. He lights my path, man. Uh, I don't know where the next step is couple more classes in one class now i think it just went to third or fourth week only eight week classes one more after this this one's a cool class they know about it advanced conditioning and recovery and the next one is uh, nutrition whatever they want to call it sports nutrition and then possibly an internship an internship or do a research paper i still got to talk to my professor when i go up to liberty university for that uh internship we'll see We'll see. If it's uh, that's that's a hard, hard decision because you don't want to waste like three months or so many hours just doing something that isn't going to lead to your destiny. But in God, God is in control of all things and opens and closes doors. <laughs> yeah, incredible. So we'll see what I find out at that point. 
watch I might just end up doing a research project because I have a lots of ideas and I have access to lots of people that I think would be willing to uh, partake in my research and my clinical studies if you will <laughs> Hey, can you follow this workout plan for about uh, eight weeks and be strict about it? And you have to do this and this and tell the other people, uh, you pretty much, they do whatever they want to do. But this other group, I want them to do something specific. Yeah, maybe I could do that. It's not that hard. Not that hard. But cool, man. Destiny's going to be awesome. Eternal life's going to be awesome. Heaven's awesome. With God, every day is awesome. So, yeah. Stay in the Word of God, guys. I like the thing that I, I shared it on uh, Facebook uh, yesterday because at uh, First United Methodist Church in Claremont, he said uh, he didn't make good grades in high school, the pastor for the uh, the Awakened service at 11-11. Uh, young guy, friend of mine, he said uh, he didn't do good in high school. Uh, 1.9 GPA and... Uh, but in 17 or 18 years old, he became saved. I think it was about seven, maybe he said 16 because he started reading the Bible, reading the Bible, and all of a sudden his GPA went up. He didn't do anything different. He just started reading the Bible. He didn't study harder or anything, just the same habit. Um, truly, I tell you, honestly, I could study harder. I could, but then it might throw off the balance of other things I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. So, read your Bible. It makes everything better when you know the Word of God. It's just, uh, it's just something. You just gotta believe that. Just something works, starts working for you when you're in Him. I mean, when you're in Christ Jesus, it's crazy. Don't know it till you try it. Just like, uh, yeah. Cool. Alright, guys. God is with you every day. Max Lucado. Sharing them on, uh, I put them on the YouTube channel too, which I might change the title of it. It's Bullfrog Endurance. If you ever looked up Bullfrog Endurance, I put them all on there, all the devotionals. So, uh, a lot of other cool stuff on there too. Yeah. So, uh, stay focused, guys. Stay focused. All right. Love you all. That's some more cat action. We got to go do something else. All right. The night is young. Love you. See you. Bye.